name's Midiera and today I'm going to show you the Big Sky Editor which I've just released on my Gumroad shop for the first time. It's a Max for Live editor for the Strymon Big Sky Reverb pedal. So what you have here are all of the controls for the Strymon Big Sky available to automate and dig into without needing to go to any uh, diving through menus. You have immediate access to every single parameter here and it's already mapped for you. There's also a support button here to contact me with any questions or feedback of the software. So let's have a look at some of the features. You've got each of the reverbs here. So you can change the presets on this panel. So I've got the lovely shimmer now. Everyone loves the shimmer. So you can change the preset there, or you can click the title angle here. It's changing the reverb type. Let's go to Magneto because that sounded great, didn't it? So yeah, you can play with this to your heart's content. Uh, it's all set up ready, you just need to plug the MIDI input into your Strymon Big Sky pedal. And then you can mess around with all of these parameters. Super simple, super easy, no wiring, no setting up CCs, it's all done for you. One of the great elements of Max for Live is the ability to store and automate all of those preset values too. So let's change to the track view and we'll look at how that's done. Okay, here we are in the track view then. So um, this is the side-scrolling part of Ableton. We've got the Big Sky MIDI collect connected up here, and you'll notice when I move one of the knobs, such as the decay, let's move the mix as well, you'll see there's a red line here that rises. Now that's the value of that parameter. So what you can do is select the parameter you want to edit here on this drop-down list and automate it and store it within your track. So let's go to the decay for example, we'll take it right down for a moment and then put it right up to the top, let's see what happens. see it has a red dot by it which means it's automated and the knob will be moving and the decay will be changing throughout your track. Now when you save the track that's stored within the track so you can do all changes and morphs and, and all kinds of lovely multi-level changes to the Big Sky and have them stored within the track for drops or effects or for whatever you need. You can have multiple lanes as well. We can add another lane. Let's go to the Big Sky Editor again. Let's automate the mix. We can just go up and down with the mix a little bit. Let's go back up right up with the delay again. So it's a low mix now with a real high delay. dry. Good, we can also automate the reverb type which is a bit of fun. This is totally sort of madcap design stuff but you'll see on your big sky it's flicking around between all of the reverb types.
Good, and there we have it. There's the Big Sky Editor for Max for Live. It's available from my Gumroad store now, and you can order it, and you'll get an install guide, you get a user manual, and you get the AMXD file, which is the Max for Life file. Great, thank you very much for watching. My name is Midiera, and I'll see you again sometime.